Hey YouTubers, it's Sean. So you may have heard Marvel and Fox are teaming up for two new TV shows based on X-Men properties. The first one is going to be a 60s Hellfire Club, like set back in the 60s. The other is going to be a show about Legion, the, the son of Professor X. I know there's a lot of questions about who owns the rights to what, because technically Fox owns X-Men rights. Marvel has almost everything else, not including Spider-Man, you know, pending Sony sharing agreement. But here's the deal. Fox only owns the rights to do X-Men movies. They don't have the TV rights. Marvel still owns those. So because Fox has a huge X-Men franchise, they of course want to capitalize that in their big TV business. So they had to come to terms just like Marvel came to terms with Sony over Spider-Man. So Marvel and Fox will be co-producing these two new TV series. We know a little bit more about what's going on with the Legion TV show. It's going to air on FX. That's the same channel that does American Horror Story, The Strain, Sons of Anarchy, has a bunch of good shows. It'll be basic cable so they can make it as crazy as they want to. There are a lot more rules about the major broadcast networks, so like shows that are on NBC, Fox, the other really big channels, they can't be quite as graphic. Most of the fun of the Legion character is that he has crazy superpowers. He has a bunch of different superpowers, but he has multiple personality disorder, with each personality controlling a different superpower. So if you know about the Lucifer TV show that Fox is doing, it's, it's kind of like that idea. You have a character that's not really a good person, but it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. The way they talk about Marvel and Fox working together, it sounds like the Legion show is going to be produced at Marvel with a lot of input from the Fox people. For the most part, the physical production itself will happen with Marvel resources. Now just sidestepping to the Hellfire Club, that's a bit more of a known property because they're primarily going to flow from the energy of X-Men First Class. Although I, I don't think they're going to use a lot of those actors. They'll probably recast a lot of people, but they have access to all the big ones. So they'll be able to do Sebastian Shaw, Emma Frost. I'm kind of hoping they don't bring January Jones back. She was like the least interesting part of that movie. But it, unlike the Legion show, is going to be more of like a Fox production with input from Marvel creatively. Brian Singer's attached to executive produce. He's done a, a couple big TV shows in the past. I think like the biggest one recently was House MD. But it only makes sense that he is kind of like the shepherd of the X-Men franchise at Fox right now. So naturally he's going to get involved in their biggest TV series. Most of my interaction with X-Men on Fox TV has been through the animated series. Like the classic 90s series, one of my favorite cartoons of all time. You watch it now, it's a little bit slow, but the stories mostly hold up. They were really good. The way I think about the Hellfire Club in the X-Men universe is the way most people think about the Inhumans in the Marvel universe. Technically, they're powerful, but they've always kind of been this weird little offshoot group. Like most people, when they think about X-Men team-ups, they think about the X-Men themselves, Professor Xavier's X-Men, and then they think of the Brotherhood of Mutants, or even like the Morlocks. The Hellfire Club was always unique because it kind of invoked a lot, of, a lot of period drama. You have these very anachronistic seeming characters. They seem out of place no matter when they're living. Even in the 60s, Sebastian Shaw had been living for a long time. Like, you know, flashback to him being a Nazi. So just from a visual perspective, expect it to look similar to the look of the 60s in the X-Men movies. If you want to read about the Hellfire Club in the comics, something relatively recent that's actually used them in, a, in an interesting way is X-Men Legacy, starting with the 2012 run. Most people say like older Hellfire Club, like the classic stuff, kind of sucks. So you, you can like skip a lot of that stuff. Just start with the 2012 Legacy run. Now the first time they actually showed up was X-Men 129 by Chris Claremont and John Byrne. They, they were the ones that created the Hellfire Club. And the most notable people that have been part of the club are Sebastian Shaw, of course, Emma Frost, the White Queen, Harry Leland, Donald Pierce, Tessa, Celine, who's kind of like the opposite of Emma Frost, who's kind of an even more evil version of Emma Frost. Then there's Magneto, who's been a part of it briefly, Storm, Shinobi Shaw, Trevor Fitzroy, Madeline Pryor, who's actually a pretty cool character, Seder 9, Phoenix, and Sunspot. So they've actually had a pretty big membership. I'm not expecting them to have all those characters. Some of the X-Men people will be movies only. It's the same thing with DC TV shows and the films. Fox, just like DC, probably feels like it can earn more money off of certain characters if they're only in the films than if they're also on TV shows. Like, they feel like sometimes having characters on TV shows devalues them, maybe. That's just my opinion. I, I think they're trying to keep certain people from getting overexposed. Like, they don't want Jean Grey becoming the Phoenix on TV if she's going to be doing it on, like, a giant widescreen movie projector. But they actually haven't made any official comments about who they're going to cast for the show, which characters they're going to use. Just expect to see the core Hellfire Club people. Just expect them to have fun with some of those tropes. It's just like the way Smallville used the idea of checkmate and different chess pieces for different people in the organization. 
Our exposure to the Hellfire Club in the movies was relatively limited, and they, they didn't get it really into the minutiae of the actual club. It was really just Sebastian Shaw enacting his plans for world domination. You didn't see a lot of like what was going on between people inside the club. Hellfire Club showed up in Uncanny X-Men, but Legion showed up in New Mutants, which also heavily featured X-Force and Deadpool, a lot, a lot of other things that we're going to be seeing from Fox. There is still an X-Force movie floating out there somewhere, they just they, they won't make it till after they're done with Deadpool. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the idea of X-Men live action TV shows uh, with, with Hellfire Club characters? Everybody has like their favorite X-Men characters, most of them tend to be film only, now Deadpool has like a slightly better shot of jumping to the TV shows. Depending on how much money his movie makes, they might not be quite as protective of him in the film universe. Fox, X-Men, gonna be a lot of fun. They're not too afraid to do edgier TV shows, so think of it as being like slightly edgier than what's going on in the CW right now on like the Flash and Arrow. They didn't announce a premiere date, but they can actually turn pilots over pretty quickly when deals have been made. Usually the problem is, is just like making that arrangement with the other studio if you need the rights to something. So what they might do is shoot a pilot sometime next year for like a 2017 air date if the shows get picked up. Now, they haven't been picked up officially, like they haven't like green lit the entire run. They just started development on pilots. But if it turns into a thing, I will totally do videos for it every week. If there are any X-Men videos that you guys want me to do or, or Deadpool videos, just let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm due for a new Deadpool video soon. That movie is actually coming out in February. Just in case you guys haven't seen it in a while, you can click here for my last Deadpool video, and you can click here for my Arrow Episode 2 video from last night. They just introduced Anarchy on the show. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.